Hello guys and girls, I'm Tony Freeman and you're watching Star Wars The Old Republic Shadow of Revan Prelude with Sith Assassin uh, The reason for making this video was that I had one fan who really wanted to see this content So this is to you, one fan, and of course to everyone else who might enjoy this as you all know, Shadow of Revan is the last, uh, the latest digital expansion released from Bioware for the game Star Wars, uh, the MMORPG, and which brings a lot of changes. Now we will go uh, just a bit, just a little bit over the changes in the talent tree, and then we're gonna go straight to the quest. The biggest change is that they remove the the talent tree as we all know it with uh, us gaining a point every every level past level 10 and improving one of our abilities or gaining a passive ability or gaining a new spell instead of that they created a disciple tree a discipline tree i'm sorry which is split into three into three parts for every class now for the Sith assassin we have darkness which is a tank spec for deception, uh, we have deception, which is a damage spec, and hatred, which is also a damage spec. The difference between deception and hatred is that they um, they play quite uh, they play very differently from one another. Deception is more of a it's more of a stealth stealth heavy burst uh, tree, while hatred is a self sustain uh, proven by the fact that they gain that field um, a damage spell that deals AoE damage and also heals the the caster. And of course Leeching Strike at level 41, I actually didn't know about this, uh, it's been a while since I, played, since I played the game. Now I usually play my Assassin as Darkness or Deception for the purpose of this, uh, of this walkthrough, I think I'm gonna play Deception. Okay, let's commit, yeah, commit. As you can see as soon as I picked Deception, this is the new, this is how it looks. Every time you level up, you gain a passive ability, you gain an utility point. The utility points are uh, able to be used on the right side, while the passive abilities and the talents are on the left side. Now the first uh, the first utilities in the skillful, in the skillful tree, I guess. Okay, this is the cooldown of Jolt, it gives the damage dealt by Lacerate. This is a good installation, it's actually a very good passive ability, increases your armor rating by 30% while lightning charge or surging charge is active. So I'm gonna pick this one. Reduces all damage taken while stunned. Overload bind these targets in electricity. Increases your movement speed by 50% and your effective stun. And I need to pick one more. I think I'm gonna go with overall binding targets in electricity, I guess. Or lows the cooldown of I, I really have no idea. Okay, let's go with oppressive force. Not to waste too much time. Four speed grants immersion, removing all more impairing effects. This is a pretty good talent tree. A pretty good talent, I'm sorry. Target control, this is a corner of blackout, yes, it's also another one. And we have one more in the heroic tree. Yeah, shroud the shroud of madness. Activating force cloak grants two seconds of force shroud. Okay, that's about it. Let's commit. And let's quickly set our spells on the action bar. Oh, as you can see, I must go also go to the trainer. Now let's just close slash. Hmm. Okay, force lightning, 
pushing darkness. Ah, that should be it, I guess. Uh, if I remember about the rest of the spells, I'm probably gonna put them. For now, I think it's good enough. Okay, so Shadow of Raven starts at this mission console in uh, each of the classes. Uh, Airplane Shadow of Raven Prelude The Droid A7M1 waits aboard Vacant Space Dock. Okay, let's accept the mission and let's go to the fit. Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from stem to stern in your absence. You can smell the difference. <laughs> okay. We use the fleet pass that we gain once we start the prelude, and we we will soon teleport to the fleet. Of course, the the trademark loading screen, which will probably take quite a bit to load. Hopefully, not too much. Now, just as uh, with Dragon Age, with the Let's Play Dragon Age series, this game has a lot of uh, story, a lot of dialogue, and just as I do, just as I do in that uh, in that series, I'm gonna shut up during during the dialogue and just let the voice actors do their job. Other than that, I'm gonna visit the trainer, obviously, to pick up uh, a few passive abilities and whatever else they have for me, and then we can just start the prelude. There's actually another player. As you all know, the trainers for every class are in the combat training section. So we're gonna go quickly to quickly to that and just pick up our abilities. It's weird. I still feel that I'm missing a few spells, but this has been such such a long time since I played this game I... Ah, it will come to me, I hope. Okay, just a minor freeze, and there we go. Here's our trainer. At last, a worthy disciple. Mm -hmm. Okay, threshing blades increases the damage dealt by thresh last hit. Actually, I needed that. Okay, that's about it. And now, the mission can begin. Now, these flashpoints are, were also available in the game before the release of uh, Shadow of Revan. The only difference is that now we are able to do them solo, in solo mode, without the assistance of three other players. Okay. Dark Lord, I consider it an honor to call upon a fellow member of the Dark Council in this matter. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. Okay. I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna use uh, Ajara as my companion. As my companion, she's a she's a warrior. So she, her DPS will come. Will be will be pretty good. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. 
what we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. The value of a great mind cannot be measured. The Dark Council is no doubt all the better for your involvement. You must think me gullible to serve up such empty flattery. I meant no offense. Perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. We should raise the temple. Let everything and everyone inside it smolder and turn to ash. The longer we hold the Jedi Temple, the deeper the wound to the Republic's morale, and the longer it will take them to recover. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! Now we have our quest. As you can see, before the name of the flashpoint, there is the solo mark, which means the flashpoint will start in solo mode with a droid to help us disactivate combat support droid. Now, if anything happens, and it happens, uh, it just happens that you need to log out or you need to stop, the droid will be lost, and you will need to queue for the normal flashpoint as it happened to me on other characters and I decided to just stop recording okay now during the flashpoint I'm gonna explain the objectives for the people who don't know the, the actual flashpoint the fight will be pretty straightforward mostly because you get that droid who basically boosts you helps you, tanks for you, heals you and it's a, it's a huge help my gear is not really is not that great really. Wow, that that song actually scared me a little. I I have no idea where that came from, but it's from the game, so oh, it's very loud. Man of the Nika here. As expected, the Republic isn't making our advance to the Jedi Temple easy. Our initial strike team had hoped to secure the landing area by now. But okay. enemy reinforcements have been hammering us with heavy artillery fire. There's an array of sensors out there guiding the attacks. Destroy them and we'll finally start to make some headway. As you can see, this is the combat support droid. Now our first task is to just get where this uh, approach the outer defenses. We're gonna stealth a little bit and avoid, try to avoid at least some of the fights. As you can see on the minimap, we have three points that we need to destroy. Let's go to the, to the right one first. We stealth it. We're gonna use the rocket boost, which is the legacy pork. And which uh, does not break stealth and acts as a as a short term mount speed. Okay, we skip past the first. The only danger is this guy, the droid which, uh, which is an elite. 
Other than that, the rest of the mobs are pretty easy to kill. They really changed the interface pretty much. So easier to see every every spell that procs, every passive ability. Okay, let's tell past these guys again. One of the reasons that I enjoyed at least I remember enjoying playing the City Assassin class is the ability to avoid unwanted fights. If you want, there are times when you want to fight, and there are times when you just you just want to skip past your objective objectives and just do your thing. And it's nice to have the, the option. It's a bit expensive in the legacy parks, but as you can see, the cooldown is really short and it's, it's really really helpful, especially in flashpoints where you just want to move fast I'm from ready. one point to another. Okay, this is actually the first boss fight. It's pretty interesting in uh, in the normal flashpoint where you play with other players. He's going to be a decent fight, but not that hard. It's actually a lot, a lot tougher, especially if people don't know uh, don't know how to team play this and to focus the the ads that will appear during the fight. Okay. Just failing to get up. There we go. And this is the boss, Major Ivas. And the same rule as in all PvP or PvE experiences. If you see if you see red things on the ground that aren't yours, just move away from them. It's just on the, on the road. You can still have emergency cold stations which act like a short term kill. And we still need to focus the the ads. Sweet, we defeated him. We got a basic commendation and a couple of credits. Just exactly what I wanted. I don't know how how they knew I wanted that. For people that don't know, seed is one of the is a class ability that heals yourself and your companion and every class has one. They just name differently but they do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Proceed to the Jedi Temple. Now hopefully we can stealth our way past these fights. Or not. See where we are for a second. Okay. Let's go. Oh well, I hope I didn't took the wrong path. Damn it. I may need to return. Oh well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Oops. <laughs> Almost full. Full those. We're back on the track, on the right track. Okay, now here, here is where I'm gonna, gonna take the safe route through the water, and we're gonna sap the enemy or incapacitate him if you want with mind trap. I'm gonna keep it above just so you can read the tooltip to the right side. Okay, as you can see, he's asleep. And we just stepped up past the whole back. Now here is an ambush. Pretty soon actually, so we can't avoid that. Not with all the stealth in the world. One of the things that I enjoyed most about this, uh, this spec, Deception, is the ability to just do a very high amount of burst damage and to just kill everything pretty quickly. Although there are moments when you just uh, you have a lot of downtime and you are a bit vulnerable, but you can just stealth out of those moments until you are able to burst yet again. And here we need to destroy four defense batteries. We're gonna do just that, and we're gonna close the end of the test quite pretty soon. Hopefully, I don't really remember. against the odds, but one seat assassin. Okay, three out of four defense batteries down. This is good progress. I have no idea how long the, the beat is though. Mm -hmm. 
and defeat Master Dentiri and his droids. His droids, whatever. The way this encounter works is that the big dude, Master, I'm gonna mark him if I can. No, apparently I can't. The Master is gonna stealth away, and we need to face the Mark One training droid, droid, and Mark One, the other Mark One training droid. Who will constantly spawn after they get defeated, explode, try to do a ton of damage. Even on solo mode, you still need to avoid them and just play it safe. Let's focus the ads first, just like you would do in uh, in a normal clash point with other players. They die pretty quickly, and then you can use the rest of the time to just kill this dude. I was going to do stealth. Uh, as he disappears, new droids appear. Oh, she got hurt pretty bad, didn't she? Okay, we're gonna use the emergency call to station. As you can see, I'm not doing too much damage. I guess someone with a better gear or a better weapon would be able to do better. Unless I'm missing something, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Here's my companion, as you can see by the fading green bar. My companion is almost close to death yet again. Yay! Yet another enemy defeated. And another basic commendation. Wow. The loot in this instance is pretty, is pretty awesome. I'm joking, of course. That's not like. <clears throat> anyway, here we are in the temple. Now, an important thing to notice is that if you stealth past this guy, if you just. You have to find a way to breach the entrance. A word of warning Jedi do adore their libels. I wouldn't expect to find the room unoccupied where I you. Yeah, I, I like libraries too, so I can understand the Jedi's. Okay, we mind trap this dude. Now, a rule if you're not in a solo flashpoint, if you're on a normal flashpoint with other players, if you can stealth, you're not gonna get ambushed. If you can't stealth, you must kill this dude and then fight a whole wave of enemies. It's not that hard, it just takes a long time, that's all. Now we have three backup generators to disable. These three. Okay, sweet. And we're heading for the. Whoa, one more ambush. Okay. And we headed for the last boss fight. Now the last boss fight is pretty interesting. It's actually my favorite in this flashpoint. 
As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. This facility now belongs to me. You're little more than a trespasser. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's chief combat advisor. If you won't go willingly, you leave me no choice. Okay, the way this works is that during the fight, he will try to channel untold knowledge, which forces a, a codex. Let me try to target it. Okay, data from here, which needs to be destroyed. If it's destroyed, the boss will, will just be thrown to, to the middle of the room. Now he's doing an, uh, an attack, and when you see the purple circles on the ground, you need to stay away from them because they hit pretty hard, even in solo mode. I mean, solo mode is a bit easier because it was designed to be done solo, but uh, you can't just steamroll past it if you don't have the gear. And here's another data crown. Tolerate this incursion. How desperate of the Empire to send you here. And again he's doing his little uh, his little damage face thingy. He's completely immune, so all you have to do here is just avoid the, the purple thing. Prepare to face judgment. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna kill the data core, I'm just gonna kill him this time. No death. Yep. Sad. Oh, and our first epic. Black Market Duelist Shield. Which is it's actually it's basically the same, the same as what we have. The thing is it's a shield and we have a focus. Shields are for the deception spec and acts they use shield absorb, shield chance, shield rating and offense normal uh, focus. Offense they're used for DPS and they don't have defensive stats like shield absorb, shield chance, blah blah. And I think this is the the end of the flashpoint. Let's see. Right. I don't believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms. Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? Now here we have our first uh, light side or dark side option. We should send a clear message. Litter the temple courtyard with their bodies. Straight away, my lord. I hope I was playing dark side. I, I don't really You remember. haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching! The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. Okay. 
since I'm not currently a subscriber. I can't peek from the rewards, from the mission rewards. I guess I should have just picked to be a subscriber just to this uh, these quests. It's not really important. You basically gain a full set of gear, I guess. I'm not sure if it's much better than mine. I have a 162 rating. And if I remember correctly, the best gear available was about 180. So... It's not, it's not really a problem. Okay. Uh, I'm still thinking if I should just pause and just stop the first, uh, the first part right here or do one more flashpoint and then stop. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another one and just split it in two pieces. So, we have Shadow of Revan part one. We need to return to Dark Arcus and we need to continue our story. Let's see what happens. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment. Lord Goh's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My Lord. Sergeant Tarsten, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my Lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my Lord, they... Say something of meaning, unless you'd like me to choke it out of you. The Republic has attacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Soberus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. The loss of a fellow Dark Council member is not exactly a pressing matter just now, Arcus. Yes, I'm aware. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy, our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban, ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you. And with the great Sith Empire. Okay. He sounded pretty upset. So the short the short version of the story, if you didn't pay attention to the cutscenes, is we attacked the Jedi Temple. And in retaliation, they attacked our uh, our training uh, our training grounds, the the temple in Korriban. Now here we are in an attempt to take it back. The map is basically resembles resembles the Korriban, uh, the first zone that you get uh, that you get to play in. If you decide to go as a as a warrior or an uh, inquisitor, which can become a sorcerer or an assassin, 
uh, again I'm gonna explain the objectives as best as I can and as best as I remember them of course okay we have defeat ground force commanders sadly they are as shown they are in this this area of the map but we fully expect your retaliation to surpass their efforts. Fight your way up to the Valley of the Dark Lords and reclaim the Sith Academy. Spare no one. Yeah, I, I wasn't really planning to spare anyone, so... Hmm. I think to actually change change the specialization and display a more AoE spec with healing and stuff. At least here. But this is the first commander. Commander Linear. Not much any any tactics, they're not really bosses. They're just an objective. A mission objective. I'm gonna try to find all four of them. The second one is here. Okay, there we go. Commander Cherries, I guess. Let's try to stun him. Hey, it works. And the last one. Commander... Something. Oh, he's not here. So he must be here. Yeah, Commander Grayson. Okay, Master Rila is the first boss fight in this. Um, I don't really remember exactly what he does, or if it's a he or a she. Looks like a cat by the portrait here. I I think it's a he. So we're just gonna go straight to the fight. Okay, need to move away from the force earthquake. Oh, and a couple of mind control. Hey, he's dead. Once again, the basic commendation. It appears your arrival hasn't been unnoticed. A Republic barricade has just been fashioned to bar your progress. While hastily constructed, it is formidable. But we have every faith in you. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use this elevator, get up, and see what happens. We have activated the freight elevator controls. I think it was a shortcut to those to those controls. I hope it still works. Yay! Got it.
Now we need to defeat everyone here. By the way, let's see if I play dark side or light side. Oh, it's dark side, so yeah, we go with probably gonna go with dark side options. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I don't care if you're armed with fiber blades, blasters, or raw knuckles. You will earn the right to go on living. You all heard him. Time to prove your worth. To arms. Just the sort of leadership we need. An honor to work with you. Now, a quick word about the dark side, light side. Uh, the way this goes in this game, you have options. You have good side options, bad side options. Sometimes, sometimes not. Uh, there is a bit uh, ambiguous. It's not all uh, dark, uh, dark and white. I play as a dark side. To be honest, I, from from the perspective of my Sith assassin, the right choice would be to force them to fight, to force those apprentices to fight anyway, because they need to they need to earn the right to be called Sith. A Sith would fight to defend to defend their ground against the Jedi anyway. Although it may seem like a cruel, uh, like a cruel way to to look at things, it's also pretty, pretty on point. Pretty on point with the Sith philosophy. And besides, I will be there protecting them the whole time, so don't worry, they're not gonna die. Now, the next boss fight is pretty interesting. It's with a robot. I don't really, I don't really get the siege droid in the whole thing, like how it fits into the lore. But the the fight is pretty, is pretty nice. He sometimes target locks on someone, and he does an AOE. He does an AOE damage that needs to be avoided. Tend to press something else. Wow. Oh well, that was. Okay, now he started doing his little bombardment spell. Again, basic commendations. And the laser gate is is down. Now a few more words about the dark side and light side. It's a pure roleplay perspective. You don't actually gain any benefits by playing dark side or light side. It's just a it's just a flavor. A flavor that the, the developer decided to put which is which is really really nice to be honest. Of course, the story is a little bit different. I mean, a light side, a light side character will probably see, will probably leave a lot more people alive than a dark side character would. But 
But then again, the whole debate, light versus dark, is just, uh, I guess it's a point of view, to be honest. My Imperial Agent, for example, is a light side agent. And the choices that I make are not really about being a good guy, but just protecting the, protecting the Empire and hating the Sith, of course. Let's see if we can stealth past them because it will save us a little time. Yeah! Yay! Again, if you have stealth, it's really easy to. To set these guys. What would I do if I saw the Academy in the enemy's hands? Encrypted transmissions have been traced back to the Dark Council chambers. That must be where the Republic Command is operating from. We hope you don't find any Dark Council members up there. Captured or dead, either would constitute a gross humiliation. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> What we need here is acquire code fragments from Master Zil. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, Master Waito and Buster. Now we need to we need to get fragments from them. Let's see if we can just stealth. Oh yes, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, they save us so much time. Yay, we got their codes. Hell yeah, we did. Okay. Nice and easy. Now we need to go upstairs. As you can see, it's basically the same map, only it's a ruined Jedi Temple, as opposed to the starting zone that you see, and everything is all nice and, and fuzzy and warm. We have two more objectives here, as you can see by the triangles on the minimap. This guy, Master Bastra. Okay. Wow. Three hundred credits. That's that's pretty good. Also, uh, another word on these uh, flashpoints, the solo mode is not repeatable. So you can only do them in solo mode once. And if you fail or if you die... That's it. You need to do them in, in, Africa, in, a, in a group, in a normal group the next time. Okay, now we need to go to the um, elevator. And we use it and went to the council level. Oh, also I wanted to modify a color. Here you have the customized appearance, and you have unified colors. Except the belt. Oh, okay.
Now we're approaching the last boss fight. This boss fight is, is pretty interesting. They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi, you befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, sis. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not alive, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! As I said, this fight is interesting. Well, again with the loud music, one second. Let's just tone down just a little bit the music volume. Okay, hopefully that's that's better. Now, uh, the reason this fight is pretty interesting, at least in the normal mode, is because this guy summons some droids, and those droids stun one of the party members, and he's unable to act. And I can't tell you how many times I played this, and I was stunned, and nobody was killing the droids. Like I said, it's an interesting experience at least. And this is a druid. Here they just self-destruct. Did you really think you could take me? You can't win! Wow. He still likes to yell now. Doesn't Nope, not really. Okay, let's use the... Did you really think you could take me? You don't even have a clue, do you? Wow. We got a head, a head here, and this is about to blow. Whoa! Okay. <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening, and you can't stop it. And you can't stop this. Ah, that felt good. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. Again, we would get uh, legs and feet, damage gear, tank gear. I think it's on the same level as 162, but I may be wrong. Wait, we have bar Black Market's Force Lords, and these things are Force Lords. Yeah, it's exactly the 162, as you can see. In the tooltip, on the right side, you have armoring in purple, and you have a number in the parentheses. That's the item level, basically. So you have 162, and that's exactly what this gear would be. So I guess my gear is is up to par. Hey. Anyway, let's accept the three basic commendations. Better than nothing. I think I'm gonna stop. I think I'm gonna stop this right here. And upload the fourth part, 
and do the rest of the prelude in the second part. Yeah. Yep. I'm Tony Freeman. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like, if you like it, of course, subscribe. And that's about it, I guess. Thank you for watching.